Are you looking at your blood tests and wondering what is the deal with elevated liver enzyme tests? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at and break down some of the liver enzyme tests, what the liver enzymes actually correspond to, what they mean, and what some of the elevations and numbers could be suggesting about what's going on in your body. So if you like this kind of information on health, nutrition, hormones, and trying to expand your health awareness and get a deeper understanding of what's going on inside your body, click on that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. Let's look at elevated liver enzyme tests and what they mean in the body. So in this video, we're going to look at what the specific liver enzymes represent and what they might be suggesting when they are elevated. So the liver enzymes are classically referred to as AST, ALT, and GGT. These are the liver function tests that when elevated suggest there may be a problem going on with your liver. Now the AST and ALT are basically enzymes in your liver and to some degree in other tissues that help those tissues transfer amino acids. And they do that through a process called transamination. That's where the T comes from on the AST and ALT. The GGT is also involved in transfer amino acids, but it kind of has a more broad function where it can also help with production and breakdown of glutathione, which is an important detoxification substance. And the GGT also helps with elimination of toxins. These enzymes are most concentrated in the liver, but they can be found in other tissues. When we're testing for your liver function test, these are always the three liver function tests that are included, the AST, ALT, and GGT. Not everyone will do the GGT. It depends what type of panel is done and what all is being looking, looked for. But I do recommend using the GGT as it can be helpful in understanding what you're exposed to if your body is having a problem breaking down or eliminating toxins. And the GGT is thought to be more sensitive at picking up toxic burden. There's really no consensus on what each of the liver enzymes represent. For instance, if the AST is high, but the GGT and ALT are normal, does this represent some specific problem like viral hepatitis or drinking alcohol or something like that? And so there's no consensus view or absolute statement that it Elevated AST, it represents problems from drinks and alcohol, and ALT is from a virus or some other nutrient problem. But there are some indicators that elevation in ALT and GGT might be higher when there's more alcohol consumption, and AST is more elevated when there's more big viral hepatitis going on. Again, it's not a super reliable thing to go off of, but if you are having ongoing elevations in your liver, the main thing you should be looking to do is verifying that they are indeed elevated and looking deeper as to why they're actually elevated. And so with that, further testing should be done to identify what the reason is. So with all that being said, ALT is more specific to liver tissue, whereas AST can be found in other tissues in more abundance than the ALT. But both can be found in muscle and heart, and other tissues, but it's the ALT that's going to be most abundant in the liver. Because of this, when AST is elevated and ALT is not elevated, or if there's just elevation in the AST, typically that's going to be more indicative of muscle issue, and that should be explored in conjunction with any exploration of what could be wrong with the liver itself. So the fact that these liver enzymes are elevated in your blood test means that there's some damage to the tissues that contain these enzymes, because what's happening is those cells are breaking open and the enzymes within those cells, whether it's coming from muscle, heart, or the liver itself are flooding out into the blood and raising the overall levels of these specific enzymes. And that, of course, is not good, especially if it's happening on a regular basis and ongoing. Anything above 25 international units per liter, I would consider elevation. Of course, the higher that number is, the more problems it will be. All right, that's all I had for this video on elevated liver enzyme tests. If you do have specific questions about anything in this video, drop it in the comment section. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that topic, but I'll definitely try to answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.